day 87. Here we go. Getting a little later start to the day because I didn't have anything immediately this morning. So I slept in for like an extra 40 minutes, which is wonderful. But this little one got up as soon as I did, so I figured we'll let her out for the wife. Then put her back inside, then go to work. So I'm going to work now. Day. I don't have a lot again. I mean, it's it's the dead of winter. It's right before Christmas, so not a lot of people put in appointments, want to get roof bids, and start construction right around the holidays. So during these times, I just go in, do some paperwork and stuff. Um, oh, I have to get the kennel inside. Dang it! <laughs> but because of that, today I think, hopefully, maybe, I'm ah, probably not. This hasn't worked out so far, but it should be a shorter day, which would be nice because then I can come home and get caught up on some of the things that I actually have to get done. And that would just be awesome. Seeing how these days have been going, I don't foresee that happening, but we'll see. I'm very, I'm very hopeful on that fact. I really am. Kasia is not working today, so Mel stays at home. So to put the kennel back inside so she has it in case she has to go anywhere and then doesn't want to drag the dog with her. <laughs> having a new puppy, man, it's it's a lot of work. It's like having another kid. Not as not as stressful, obviously. But it is a lot. I also want to say to all of you who wrote on my Facebook wall, through Twitter, through text, through message, that said happy birthday, wished me well yesterday. Thank you. It means the absolute world to me that you would take time out of your day to say something as nice as that and as thoughtful as to think of me during a time when everything is just absolutely stupidly insane. So thank you. I love you as well. Now, because I didn't go get my free Dutch Bros yesterday, I'm going to con them into giving me one today, the day after my birthday, and convince them that it's my birthday by saying, it's my birthday. So I'm going to go do that, get some coffee, and then head to the shop. Yep. <laughs> Suckers. It's not even my birthday. <laughs> Finished up all the little bit of paperwork that I had to do today, which is good. This week was not, like, super productive as far as, like, going out and doing sales. Again, because it's a holiday week. But I was still able to get a couple of things through and basically make enough to be able to pay bills and have a little extra and that's just really cool I'm <laughs> loving this job man sales is something that uh, is not for everybody but I like to talk as I mean you guys might know that by now maybe I don't know but I really like to talk and just get to know people and go through their life and their stories and not so much talk about the project but talk about them <laughs> maybe that's what sets me apart I don't know but anyways I'm gonna go pick up Caleb take him back home from his doctor's appointment and then head home and hang out with the wife and kiddo also, Hunt has a new event today, so I might hang out with the wife and kiddo. <laughs> I'm the worst! I just sold my last 1DX too. I'm a little sad about it. Because that camera changed the way I filmed. It changed how I approach things. But I'm also excited because that means that eventually I'll be getting a second R5 or something similar. Maybe the C70, actually. I don't know. I'll have to find out which route I actually go, but the 1DX2 was the first smaller form body that did like full time slow motion recording, and I was able to 
capture weddings at such a rate uh, that wasn't 720p standard definition, essentially. Um, yeah, I'm kind of sad about it, but I'm also really happy that someone else will get it and that I still made money on a camera that's a few years old. But ultimately, I'm a little sad. Anyways, I'm gonna go export all these, all the rest of these photos. Um, yeah, so that just happened. Finally exported all those photos, got them sent, they're emailed, they're gone. Mello is enjoying her first little bit all right. of eggs. Rowdy loves those, so. I mean, any That's dog will, favorite. obviously, but. Anyways, just checking in, spent a couple hours editing, and now I'm done, and it feels great. So, I'm gonna go do something else aside from staring at a screen, and uh, go relax. Yep. <laughs> Part of me is pretty sad because I can't actually do like an in-depth review now between the 1DX2 and the R5 like I wanted to. That's, that sucks. <laughs> I really wanted to do that. But I'm also not going to apologize because if someone wants to hand me over $5,000 for my items, I'm going to sell it. Like it's just going to happen. So should have done it sooner. Should have, could have, would have. I didn't do it. So it is now later in the day. It's almost four and it has been raining for like hours. So I kind of want to just go get some rain shots before it becomes completely dark. Because I really like slow motion rain stuff. If you don't, skip on ahead to where I say goodbye. The life of having a puppy. That's essentially when all your toys just go onto the table to get out of reach of the little dog. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's not many toys just hanging out out here anymore. That's hilarious. So I had it set to 1080p because I was recording myself packing the 1DX2, which I do if it's anything that's really expensive. I'll record the entire breakdown, how I'm packing it, what goes into it, and then send it to the buyer so that they have proof that I packed everything. And I have proof so they can't say that I didn't send something. Anyways, I forgot to switch it back to 4K, so all those shots were in 1080. And I'm really sad about it <laughs> because I don't want to shoot 1080 anymore unless I absolutely have to for like really long processed videos that I'm just getting out. Uh, but anyways, that's just me nitpicking yet again. But the day was really good. Uh, I came home pretty early because I didn't have a lot to do today, which is great. Got all the wedding photos done for Nick and Heidi, uh, emailed them off, and then I just kind of hung out with the family and now we're gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna play some video games because Hunt Showdown, oh man. Hunt Showdown came out with a whole new update uh, for the holiday season. So for two weeks, there's a Christmas event going on where you can eventually get enough points to play as Scrooge. None of you care. I care. This is like my jam every night with the boys. So me, Blue Bug, maybe Forrest, maybe Howdy. I don't know who's getting on, but we're going to jam the crap out of this tonight. It's going to be super fun. So anyways, that's the daily vlog. It's every single day. I love you guys. Seriously, I appreciate the hell out of each and every one of you that watch these. It means the absolute world to me. Love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, she got a hit on one of us, and then she was like, oh my god, yeah, I got a hit.
What? I'm not answering that. <laughs> These commands need us to stop fucking interrupting my. What's a tech bot gonna do? Fuck! The black coat. There it is. Nice. Someone over GG's here. GG's idiot. Here. Listen here. I like it hot. Listen here, bud. <laughs> okay. He says, I'll walk far if you didn't hear him.